Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today's um, ingredient review is on the Corax Advanced Nail Radiance Dual Essence. When you hear essence, essence is a product that is in between a toner and a serum. It is not as light as a toner, and neither is it as thick as a serum. Even though some essence is still tilt towards looking like toners, they are very, very light. And some tilt towards moving like serum, they are quite like thick as serum. But then most essences that I have seen and I have in my own product line is not as thick as a serum, neither is it as light as a toner. So even in the um, layering um, stage in skincare, the serum and the toner put the essence in between meaning you go for toner first before you go for essence before you go to serum that is if you choose to add toner and serum in the same routine now we're starting or oh, i'm starting from the key ingredient which said triple snail complex 74.3 percent snail secretion filter black snail secretion filter gold snail secretion filter and then niacinamide at five percent now these are the key ingredients it has been stated clearly then for external use only do not get into eyes and that's the caution apply properly uh, proper amount evenly avoid the eye area okay still banking on the eye area now going into the ingredient list mainly now we start in the ingredient list the first ingredient which i have said if you are an oldie on this channel then it ingredient listing is a professional thing global worldwide the ones that come at the top are the majority so basically the snail secretion filter is the first ingredient then followed by the butylene glycol you see the irony of life like i remember even in my classes i have asked my students to stay away from butylene glycol propylene glycol the reason is because these are petroleum products but funny enough I grew up using petroleum jelly on my skin, Vaseline. That is what our parents used for us. Like, for me, when something is going straight out for human consumption, there are regulatory bodies, even though some regulatory bodies in some countries are weak. I feel that anything that is coming out, despite if it's coming out from petroleum jelly, from the sea, most likely, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it must have been refined properly to the standard of being absorbed in cosmetics. Even dermatologists will recommend products with petroleum jelly. Some ointments, some um, steroid ointments used for treatment of some skin disorders are even in a petroleum, petroleum base, if you know what I'm trying to say to you. Um, so the next ingredient is the niacinamide. Okay, like personally, I have niacinamide in my product line. I have niacinamide at 5%, niacinamide at 10%. Some... Um, creators content creators will even tell you that uh, they don't even need to buy a product specifically with just nice number because nice number is almost in every ingredient in every product well ingredient list of every product well i'll believe because um i think um a cosmetic chemist um slash cosmetic from little slash doctor that's um dr v I noticed most of her product contains niacinamide, niacinamide, like virtually everything, even her product vote for hair and skin, you know, like, so it's quite relatable where you don't need, when you are using those kind of product range, you don't need any um, single product that contains niacinamide because virtually everything in her product line contains niacinamide, even her SPF contains niacinamide. All right, one, two, hexanial dial. Yeah, it's inside. Then there's betaine. Then there's pantanol. All these are awesome humectants. Like this essence is going. To, it's almost like making your skin almost like that of the snail. <laughs> so supple, like so super duper supple. Because most of the things I'm seeing here are humectant, humectant. Then you have water, which is a hydrosol. I don't know if I've mentioned pantanol already. Pantanol is a vitamin B five. is a very strong humectant, good humectant. Then you have um glycerin okay then there's um the medio foam seed oil it comes with the botanical name but i don't want to stress my tongue <laughs> so there's a sunflower seed oil there's a lion thorn there's caboma there's macadamia tiny folia seed oil there's sodium polyacrylate there's sodium lorenet 
sodium hyaluronate sorry that is hyaluronic acid there's inulin laurel carbomat there is arginine that one is an antioxidant as well mm -hmm. then there's agania spinosa canal oil there's xanthan gum there's sodium sulfatine there's italy hexyl glycerin that one form is also a humectant and it can also serve as a preservative as well and there's glutathione like this is pretty much a very very straightforward um, ingredient list i love it pretty much direct now it's going to help with the skin barrier and no wonder it does what it says it does it brightens the skin as well why because there are some tyrosinate inhibitors in them. Nicenamide is a tyrosinate inhibitor. Um, Alainton is a tyrosinate inhibitor. Glutathione is a tyrosinate inhibitor. But then let me question that slimy, you know. Like personally, I've had the opportunity, I guess I'll use the word opportunity, to have spoken to someone that we were supposed to strike a business deal. But the fact that I am working with someone that does not have idea in cosmetic science or cosmetic chemists, and the person wants to control the whole game to me it made me a little bit uncomfortable i am the cosmetic chemist here i know how these things works and he kept pushing on the fact that the snail slime should be either i think in a body moisturizer or so he I, I can't really remember because this is like over a year ago and then um his other um, I think his wife or so was now insisting it should be in a soap, which for me it was quite relatable being in a soap because the snail slime has an alkaline pH. Yes, yeah, so it's going to really sit perfectly in a soap because the soap will be handmade soap, obviously. Um, yeah, could sit in there in a cream. Definitely, you have to adjust the pH. But if you ask me, I don't know the species of snails he said he was into grooming snails i don't know this species but this one i think the species was even specified is it the black snail or the gold it was there specifically so um there was something i noticed when he gave me this name and you know one thing with this snail slime man, it's very difficult to preserve oh. mm -hmm. when he gave me the snail slime and it is a very sensitive ingredient as well so when he gave me the snail slime unfortunately the thing has said kind of going smelling ish because he didn't preserve it and he came from a long distance um when he gave me yes it had this slimy feel but to be honest with you it it does not have the much slime that i am seeing when i see people the way yeah it, it looks like i say drawy like the real snake slime me i've seen i have had contact with is not as slimy as this one which i don't know if it has to do with species or manipulation of ingredients because i could see um quite a few polymers like base viscosity base that can come in contact with a lot of these humectants and give that slimy feel but me i am saying basically partially personally from the snail slime i have had contact with it is not as slimy as and i saw even their body cream is slimy basically is this a good product yes it is a good product even though here in nigeria is so expensive you buy that size of that snail slime like something like this i don't know it's not even up to 500 mil let's see 200 i'd be 250 mil something like this they are selling for you for 25k or more it's not it's for the strong people though i can't buy that honestly yeah, that's why you see me i review ingredient list based on what i get from their website or what i get online truly because buying this product i can't i can't afford it and i have a hydrating essence from my own product line it is not a snail munchkin mm -hmm. it is just um a hydrating essence with a, a zantan gum base <laughs> yes it is not slimy slimy <laughs> and it can be used day and night yeah it can be used it has a little bit of tyrosinate inhibitor yes it has um the pantanol in it it has glycerin in it it has sodium lactate in it yes so it offers you a medium hydration it's in a hundred ml bottle this goes for four thousand air maybe i'll drop it the dollar equivalent and i also manufacture for wholesale as well so if you want any cosmetic product that you want to paste your label on top branding rebranding bulk purchase i'm your go to just to we'll talk we need to thoroughly talk i am very detailed though, so you might get tired of me please we need to do the right thing okay even though in nigeria our laws are not so strong but the fact that we are competing with international brands <laughs> yes yeah, so we need to 
meet up the international standard that kind of thing so thank you so much if you are meeting this space for the first time my name is asma Zakari. to do well for me for you to subscribe is totally free to be honest it's totally free just press the subscribe button so that each time i drop a new video you will be notified asap and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section if it's a question i'll answer you if you want inquiries offering trainings and all of that um there's this culture maybe i'll talk about it in my next video the doping culture the dupe culture <laughs> is it a good or a bad one we'll discuss it thank you so much and see you in another video bye